Hey everybody, DeLongchat Signatures here. This is episode 38 of my 2024 TTMs. I have seven successes as well as a couple of purchases to share with you all. I've uh, been a little bit behind on videos, just been a busy couple of days. I'm um, going to start getting prepped for the Indy 500 here soon. Uh, excited for that. And then um, I am also behind on my giveaway video, so I will do that later tonight. Um, I have a, have a couple of past winners that haven't uh, reached out to me yet with their addresses. So Chris and Chris Collecting Cards and Chi Chi Wu, uh, please email me at thelongshotsignatures at gmail.com uh, with your address so I can get your winnings sent out to you. I still have them set around here somewhere. Uh, just let me know. But we'll get started with the returns. I think we got in five on Monday. So this first one here is a baseball return, and this is an active uh, baseball return. Uh, no longer a player, but a manager. A one-of-one one success in 21 days from former... Um, I don't see his position on here. Oh, first baseman and current manager, Tori Lavulo, on his 1990 Upper Deck card. Uh, I meant to send that out a few years ago, um, but then COVID happened, so didn't send out any... Well, I had sent out some spring training, but not everything that I was going to for spring training. And then um, he hasn't had the greatest run uh, with the Diamondbacks, um, usually missing the playoffs and everything. So I kept thinking, like, oh, they're probably going to you know, let him go and all that, so I won't be able to get the card signed. I just kept forgetting about it. But uh, last year... Took them all the way to the World Series. So they had patience with him. He had patience with them. And it almost completely paid off. Um, I'm sure that they're happy with the result uh, as far as, you know, making it that far. But, you know, obviously disappointed that they didn't win. But I think that gives uh, Lavulo a longer leash of keeping the managerial position. But finally remembered to send it out this year and very quickly got it back to start off the baseball season. Then we have a hockey return here. This is a one of one success in 69 days from former NHL right winger Jeff Odgers on this 98 99 Pacific. Uh, I don't remember too much about him. I know he played probably about like 600 to 800 games in his career, which is a pretty wide range for hockey players. Um, but uh, still, nice return there. Did have to send to Canada, but worth it for the return. And then we've got some racing successes here. First one is a 5 of 5 in 18 days from former NASCAR driver Ryan Newman. So I was able to add a couple of set cards. I think I got like one duplicate in here. But I got this optic. I think this is the duplicate. I could be wrong, but sent one of those. And then I did purchase some newer Don Russ cards off of COMC. I am not focused on the set, so don't expect, you know, too many of these to be coming back in. But I figured I was going to send out a lot of stuff at the start of the NASCAR season. The COMC order got delayed quite a bit. Um, and I was just trying to buy up names of people who have been consistent signers. And Ryan uh, has been for a very long time. It's very cool to get that one. Uh, this next one is from an active driver. This is a 3 of 4 success in 18 days from the driver of the number 12 in last year's Cup Series champion, Mr. Ryan Blaney. Ryan has continued to be a good signer, although I did receive a note from Team Penske that going forward they are limiting um, requests by a little bit. Uh, it will be maximum one request per driver per year. Um, and it will be up to three items. You also cannot apparently request for multiple drivers at the same time. I don't know how that affects hero cards. I've already sent out my Team Penske IndyCar hero card request. So we'll see if that gets affected by it. But um, just know that going forward, if you do plan on sending to Team Penske drivers, it's a limit of three per mailing and one mailing per year. So if you have stuff to send, I would recommend just sending three. And then... Um, I don't think that changes anything with Logano. I'm pretty sure he's done signing through the mail. Last one for Monday is another NASCAR return. This is a two of two success 
in 378 days from Scott Wimmer. I think he raced in all three different series, had some wins here and there. Just a name that I don't really remember watching him, but I do remember the name, so maybe like a video game or something that I played growing up. But uh, it was cool to see that he signed. Had to wait a little while, but worth it. A uh, new name added to the collection. Then yesterday we had one success, but also a purchase. So we'll start off with the TTM return. This is a two of two success in 36 days from former NHL defenseman Sean Anderson. I think he played, I don't remember exactly how many games he played. I think it was a few hundred, um, but I'm pretty sure he was an undrafted player as well. So pretty nice accomplishment there for a guy who was passed over in the draft. This purchase, um, I want to say Megan TT Hobbies sent me uh, an Instagram story of a former NASCAR driver who was signing some, it, it looked like fan mail at the time, and I thought, oh, maybe I just have to send a letter to her. But it turns out she is selling these um, hero cards from her racing days. I don't know exactly if she has like a whole bunch of them extra or if she ordered them herself, um, but she drove in the Arca series and I think in the Arca East series and did pretty well there. And then she had two or three races in the Xfinity series and has since been a uh, motivational speaker and these are free on her website all you have to do is pay for shipping i think it was a dollar 30 for this and i think you can get like three at a time or something like that i just needed the one but uh purchase this from julia landauer and what's kind of cool about it is that uh this is an alpha prime racing from when they were really building up the team and they had a whole bunch of, you know, part-time, you know, fill-in drivers for uh, all the races. So I've already got several of this design that are uh, autographed. And being able to add another one is really cool. Um, but yeah, they're free. They're on our website. And like I said, I only had to pay for shipping. So that was really cool. Then we had one success in a big purchase today. So the first one is a 3 of 3 return in 23 days from former MLB pitcher Trevor Wilson who signed my Upper Deck, my Don Russ, and my Fleer Ultra. And then the last one here, like I said, is a purchase, really a donation um, from the uh, autographs for a cause with the Detroit Red Wings. Um, I, I think I got all the photos that I had ordered, but I had ordered two pucks as well. The first one was a James Reimer, because um, I already have his autograph on a trading card or something. and uh, But I still wanted another one, so I went ahead and bought his autograph puck. And then I figured since they were the same price and this guy was already charging quite a bit, I might as well just go with the puck for a future Hall of Famer. But we got this Patrick Kane autographed uh, Detroit Red Wings puck. I don't know, I don't think he has signed beyond this season to continue playing with the Red Wings. He signed halfway through the year because he was recovering from uh, surgery and he has continued to play well uh, even without like, you know, a training camp and all that. Um, done pretty well in Detroit for himself. I don't know if they're in a playoff spot right now, so they may miss out. But um, he's continued to play at a really high level. He's already got the Hall of Fame resume there, so he's just adding to his legacy. Um, I do have his autograph already in the collection. Uh, got him TTM many years ago, I think like seven or eight years ago, and that took uh, six or seven years to get back. So it's been about as long since I got it since uh, it took to get it back from him in the first place. But now I've got a second one here in uh, on a commemorative puck got the little you know seal there and everything probably get a case for that um keep it protected uh, like i said it was 60 bucks i think the window is closed now for purchasing these um and we'll see if he uh sticks around with the team and even does it again next year some players opt to not do the autographs for a cause but he did which was a uh, very surprising and so I had to take advantage of it while I could. But that is it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Best of luck with your guys' collect 
collecting. Take care.